Hey y'all, what y'all doing? Welcome back to Cleaning with Carolyn. If you are new here, hey, welcome. Glad you could be with us today. In today's video, we are going to be decorating for St. Patrick's Day. I know it's right around the corner, but better late than never. So I went back and forth on whether or not to decorate for St. Patrick's Day, only because I know Easter is in March this year. But I decided to go ahead and decorate it, decorate for it, even though if it was just for half of the month and then the other half I can decorate for Easter and just leave that up all the way through April up until May. And then when May hits, I can just decorate for spring then. So I'm going to start off by doing what I always do when I'm decorating for a holiday. I take everything out of the tote and put it onto the table so I can see what all I have to work with. And then I'm going to take all the old decorations down put those in the tote and then dust everything before I put the new decorations out. Once I got all of the decorations out of this tote, I noticed that the tote needed to be wiped out. So I went ahead and wiped out the tote before putting in the Valentine's Day decor. I do keep St. Patrick's Day and Valentine's Day decor in the same tote because I don't have a lot of either one and because they're so close together. So I just keep them in one tote. Also, any fabrics that I happen to have, I always put those away unwashed only because when I take the decorations back out next year, I always wash them before I put them out anyways because the building that I store all of my stuff in gets a weird smell on everything. So I just go ahead and wash it before I put it out. As I take all of the flowers down, I'm going to separate them out. So purple in one bag, pink in one bag, and red in one bag. Only because I use the pink and red on other occasions, the purple stays in with the Valentine's decor. I bought all of my flowers from the Dollar Tree. I think they are a simple and cheap way of being able to decorate for any holiday or any occasion, and you can reuse them over and over again. Thank you. 
In a past video, I put my plants in a hanging planter in the corner of my living room and they did well for a little while and then I noticed a yellow leaf on one of the plants and I noticed that the soil was staying wet way too long. So I took them out, found uh, plastic bottles and punched holes in the bottom of them so I could have drainage and it still wasn't draining right so I just took them out of the soil and put them back into water hopefully they'll be okay here for a little while um, one of the plants did have root rot unfortunately I did trim away the rotting root and put them back into water and hopefully they can continue to grow healthy roots and until I can find a better solution for them I did put a couple of drops of hydrogen peroxide in the water and let the water sit until room temperature before I put the pothos back in there. Um, I do have to go back to the store and get some kind of tropical plant liquid fertilizer. That way they can still get nutrition with being in the water. I went and raided the bottom of my bedroom closet to see if I could find a blanket to fit here in this chair and I found this yellow one. I also needed something green so I decided to put my baby doll there with a bib on it. I didn't like it. I felt like it was too childlike. So I came up with an idea to use one of my St. Patrick's Day hand towels and clip it to one of my decorative pillows so that's what I'm going to do here all I used was a hand towel from the Dollar Tree and two safety pins and I put the pillow in the chair and it looks amazing I love it it goes to show you that if you are creative enough that you do not have to go buy expensive stuff you can just use what you have on hand One of the crafts that I did last year for St. Patrick's Day was one of this one of these wire decorative things. I don't know what it's called. Um, all I did was thread a Dollar Tree hand towel through it, placed uh, three flowers on there, and just hung it on the wall. And it fit right in. It was the perfect thing that I needed to fill the hole in between the shelves on my wall.
After I get done decorating everything, I'm going to vacuum the floor up, just vacuuming up all the dust that we wiped off of the shelves. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already and would like to, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to share this with your mama and them. I will see y'all Saturday. Bye.